Welcome to the AACS Daily News. Attleboro's annual community-wide reading event is set to return this year, though it will take a slightly different form. The book for this year is Nothing to See Here by Kevin Wilson. We spoke with Attleboro Public Library Director Amy Rillinger to learn more. My name is Amy Rillinger. I'm the director of the Attleboro Public Library, and I am thrilled to announce that Attleboro is doing a community-wide read this year, and we are reading Nothing to See Here by Kevin Wilson. Last year, the Attleboro's one ABC committee, Attleboro's One Adventure, One Book, One Community, applied for an NEA Big Read grant, and for the second time in 16 years, we did not receive funding from the federal government. However, we did do a lot of planning with our partners to create programming for the city, and thanks to the generous sponsorship of Bristol County Savings Bank, the Friends of the Attleboro Public Library, the Attleboro Arts Museum, the Board of Trustees of the Attleboro Library, and and the support of the Attleboro Public Schools. We're going ahead with much of the programming. This year's title is really interesting. It's a fiction story with the main characters are twins who, when they feel strong emotions, they spontaneously combust. Um, it's sort of a fairy tale, fable story, and despite how that sounds, it's actually a very funny novel. And at the end of the day, the story is about how people go through really hard times and they get through it by connecting with other people, by developing coping skills, and sometimes those skills are walking in nature, sometimes they are moving their bodies, playing basketball in this case, sometimes they're eating ice cream. Um, and we know that in our community, we have the support of our friends and neighbors, we have a lot of organizations who build support, um, who build these networks to let people gather the strength to get through hard times. And so that is the focus of the programming this year. The committee felt that it was an important enough goal to continue without the federal funding. And so we are going to continue to kick off the events with an exhibit at the Arts Museum. And that is um, opening on Saturday, September 9th, with a reception from 2 to 4 p.m. A really interesting part of that exhibit is um, it's called Creature Comforts. One of the characters in the story has um, a vast collection of stuffed animals and it treats those stuffed animals like real playmates and um, it's a big part of the story and so the exhibit focuses on memories of artists of their stuffed friends so we'll include portraits as well as the story behind those portraits. Other events that are happening are, um, we're calling it Stress Less and Read More. We're doing a community organization fair here in the library on Saturday, November 18th. And we are inviting the organizations in the community that offer activities and support to people in the community. So folks that get you outside like Oak Knoll and Hike Attleboro and the Attleboro Land Trust, folks that get your body moving like the Rec Center and the YMCA, creative outlets like the Attleboro Arts Museum and the local writing group. And so those folks will all be available on that Saturday to teach the community more of what they offer. Another feature of the Community Wide Read is distributing free books in the community. There'll be a little bit less of that this year, but we'll always have books available here in the library to check out um, for a two-week loan. And we're, as always, we'll be continuing to encourage people to read the same story, discuss it with your friends and neighbors. And there's a few related book discussions, both on this title in particular and on comfort reads, the books that people read again and again, because even though they know how the story ends, it brings them peace of mind. The planning for this community-wide read has been very different from in years past, and so while we have two events um, with specific times and dates and plans are, are very firm, we have a few more things up our sleeves, and those will be um, announced as they become more defined. At the beginning of September, there will be a website that is attleboros1abc.org, and everything will be listed um, as the details become available.